here might be doing some snow cones. According to the procedure I just wrote, you <laughs> are going to make a snow cone out of a cone and a some snow. sphere and some uh, yeah, snow is important. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna melt it with that blow dryer. It goes up to forming the first incision. <laughs> Looks super tasty. Um, all right, so the, here's our here's our thing with volume. We haven't figured it out yet, but we will. Don't worry. Don't you fret. Um, so we're just gonna uh, blow dry it. Yes, we are. <laughs> all right. Put Let's it in do this it. Cup. As you can see, uh, the radius of the snow thing has decreased from uh, one and a half inches to about one and eighth. So uh, we're, we'll use that as our um, point to determine how fast the radius is changing. Inches. Uh, the height was 4.5 inches, so we just we put the height in terms of r so that we could only use one variable. Um, so 3r. So we changed the original volume equation, which is the volume of a cone plus the volume of a hemisphere. So that all became uh, 5 thirds pi r cubed. Um, so when we took the derivative of that uh, and then actually calculated what the change in volume was, which was 0.104 um, cubic inches per second, uh, we I solved for dr dt and got 0 0.00523 inches, <laughs> inches per, per second. second.